Hello everyone, this is Mr. BC here. In this series, we'll be taking you to Japan, specifically to Tokyo and Kyoto, to check out the newest update in 2023. Especially, we'll look up toys for Kamen Rider, Ultraman, and Gundam series. This time, we'll be visiting Akihabara, the sacred place for all anime and hobby lovers. In this video, we'll be visiting different shops to hunt for treasures, and hopefully we'll give you some ideas which shop should you go for hunting yours. I will also go through shopping tips for you, but of course, there are still a lot of places that I wouldn't be mentioning in this video. So if you have any favorites, feel free to leave a comment below and share with me if there's any places it is a must go. Without further ado, let's jump into Akiba. So the first place that we are going to is Tamashi Nation store, which is located just next to the JR station in Akiba. So what's special about this store? The most obvious answer is, it is one of the official store that is opened by Bandai. So it has a lot of display areas, which display all the newest SH figure arts, all robot tamashis and metal build theories. And what is also very attractive is how they displayed it with the dioramas in the shop. Also, one friendly reminder is Tamashi Nations will usually update all their exhibits in the first or second week of a month. So if you are planning for a trip to Japan, probably you may consider to come in in the first week of a month so that you will be able to get a chance to look at the newest stuff that is just released. For this time when I visited Japan, I have just missed a chance for the largest exhibitions in early 2023. So if I really got a chance to rebook my vacation, then I would probably consider to match up the exhibition dates that they have. When you plan your vacation next time, take this as a consideration before you buy your flight ticket. Also, when you enter the shop, make sure you take some of these brochures just next to the entrance. They are all free for you to take away. And often the pack will also consist of some souvenirs for you. Just like this booklet, it is a perfect guideline to teach you how to post your figures. Make sure you don't miss it. Well, the third friendly reminder is this shop usually sells a lot of unique products which are only available in this shop, which also probably includes some of the newest items that they are selling. But unfortunately, all of these products are selling in their standard retail price, which means it's not selling in the lowest market price at all. If the stock level in this store is pretty high and sufficient, a good tip for you is to walk around other shopping centers first to check for the other prices, rather than hurrying to buy it off from this shop. You might be able to get a better price with the same product at the end of the day. Number two. Next to the station, we have Radio Kaikan. Basically, it is a building that consists of a lot of hobby shops within. This Radio Kaikan has 10 levels. The bottom two levels are usually shops that sell second-hand toys or products that are being reselled by other buyers. These shops are usually more expensive than the others. So I wouldn't recommend you guys to spend a lot of time unless you have something very rare and special to look around for. The first stop is Ami Ami, which is located at level 4 of this building. Basically, a lot of you may have heard that Ami Ami is an online store. But in fact, in Japan, it is a physical store that you can visit. The prices are very reasonable and the variety is very broad. And it has included a lot of model kits and tools, figures and capsule toys, etc. This shop will usually sell a lot of standard products that just came out. If you're looking for anything new or products that have just released, this will be a very good spot for you to have a look around. Apart from this store, there is also a second store that mainly sells all the second-hand figures which came out a while ago. If you are after second-hand figures, Ami Ami Second will be a better place for you to hunt your treasures. Don't underestimate this shop because a lot of figures that might have a bit of defects can discount like half price or even more. Just look at this shelf here. If you're lucky enough, you might actually be able to get some very good stuff with a very decent price. So make sure you check out the second store, which is located in the main street of Akiba. Oh, by the way, when you are purchasing stuff in Ami Ami, usually you can get a tax-free discount when you spend 5,500 yen inside the store. So make sure you bring your passport to get the best discounted price as a tourist in Japan. But one special thing to take notice is, they are actually items that are not able to claim your tax-free. But to be honest, it's very confusing. So check with one of the staff over there to see what you can do for tax-free. Number three, we can now go to level six, which is where Yellow Submarine is. 
So Yellow Submarine is another hobby store that sells similar products. What's special about Yellow Submarine is, usually they have a lot of unique products that are only available in Yellow Submarine. There are also special displays of Tamashii Nations, which can be only available in some of the stores in Akiba. And often Yellow Submarine has some very discounted products as well. And also there is also a column which they sell Gunplas in different bundles, without paying the full price of a box of standard model kits. If you're looking for a shield or a limbs of a mobile shoot, get a chance to have a look in this column for a very good price. And not to mention, Yellow Submarine has also got a second store, just about Ami Ami number 2. But mostly they are selling military model kits and card games. So since I'm not very interested in those, I would skip that part in this video. But unfortunately, Yellow Submarine doesn't have a discount for tax-free. So please be aware of that when you're doing your price check in the store. Well, at level 8, there is also another store called Folks, which is very similar in nature with Ami Ami and Yellow Submarine. But Folks focus more on selling model kits and tools. So if you are a diehard fan for doing model kits, make sure you also check it out Folks at level 8. Folks actually offers tax-free discount, so make sure you check it out when you pay. Number 5. Now moving on to second-hand stores in Radio Kaikan. At level 7, we have Tokusatsu Jungle, which specializes a lot of second-hand Tokusatsu products, such as CSM, Hesse Figuarts, DX, and Soft Beasts. As you can see in the video, the products that are selling in this shop varies quite a lot, and many of them are even from 10 to 20 years ago. When I was filming this video, there was a customer just bringing one of the DX belts just for 3,000 yen to the cashier counter, buying it for good. And the price is fairly reasonable, I would say, comparing to some other shops that I'm going to introduce to you. So if you are after some of the rare products, I would say this will be a very reasonable place that I would recommend you guys to go and have a look. Number 6. Well, when speaking of second-hand stores, some of the stores are selling goods in a very unbelievable price, which is in a bad way. Take this Akibano X as an example. As a lot of locals describe, this store is mainly targeting tourists, since they provide a large variety of products which cannot be easily found in other stores. By simply looking at the price tag differences, you can already see how much they earn as a profit when they successfully sell one of their goods. However, since everyone comes from different countries, after calculating all the exchange rate that you have got, sometimes Akibano X actually offers a better price comparing to what they sell in your country. So my final words for you is, I might just leave it for your own consideration when purchasing items in this store. Well, okay. Now, let's move on to some other stores that I would recommend for purchasing second-hand items. Number 7. This store is called Trader which is located also at the main street of Akiba. Comparing to other stores, the variety that they are selling may not be as much as Akiba no X, since they focus on selling different types of goods, including video games, figures, DVDs, stuff like that. But the price that they are reselling is pretty reasonable. And take Robot Spirits Gundam Aerial as an example. A lot of other shops had already been sold out, but traders are selling it in a very reasonable price, which is only 7,900 yen, close to the retail price that was marked by Bandai. I would definitely recommend you guys to go and have a look in this store. Number 8. Sneaking in into the back lane of Akiba, now we've arrived at Mandala Ke. So Mantanake is one of the most famous second-hand stores in Japan. The range of items that they are selling is almost like a museum. What I would say is, if you only plan to spend half an hour over here, it will never be enough for you. If you are hunting for retro toys, this is definitely the right store to go. In my opinion, Mantanake is more like a museum to me to look around rather than shopping inside. And the price for some of the toys are not very friendly too. But definitely, it's a must-go for everyone who comes to Akiba. Number 9. After a long walk in Mantanage, now we can go to Surugaya Speciality Store, which is also a very famous second-hand store in Tokyo. But the quality of the goods that are reselling in Surugaya is not as good as the others. Depends on the rarity and the quality of the goods that they're reselling. And the prices are very inflated too. Just like these DX Soft B figures, some of the rarer figures are reselling in a price that are almost double from the original price that was selling years ago. 
And there is also an area that is called junk area, which you can hunt a lot of items that may no longer be popular. If you are after those DX stuff, it might be a good chance for you to hunt something good. Number 10. The second last store that I would like to introduce is Big Camera. Although Big Camera is kind of like a popular store all around Tokyo, I would still recommend everyone to come and have a look. The toy department is actually located at the top of the building. And also there is a special Tamashii Nations display corner selling Bandai's goods. If you are after some popular items, Big Camera is actually a good option for you. But if you are chasing some hot items that are released just at the time of Japan, you might need to actually queue in the morning in order to get a chance to buy that item. So make sure you wake up early and start lining up with fellow Japanese fans. I have been looking for some dioramas buildings and which I can't find it in other stores. So Big Camera actually offers quite a large variety of things and also with fair retail price in the market as well. What is also great about Big Camera is you can get tax-free discount after you spend 5,500 yen in this department store. Big Camera is definitely one of the store that you need to check out if you want to purchase some newly released goods. Lucky last, I'm going to introduce you with Yodobashi Camera in Akiba. Similar to Big Camera, this is also a very large department store in Japan. However, it is located in the opposite end of the train station, so I would recommend everyone to come as the last stop of the day. Tamashii Nations has a very different display area, which features a lot of unique exhibits that are not available in many of the other stores. And even for newly released figures, that aren't available in the market as well. Also, there are a lot of display models that are built by some expert modelers in Japan, which are only displayed in this Yodobashi camera store. And it's very fun as well to look at how they display the figures, just like how they play with the memes in the show. Even if you are not purchasing any items, by simply looking around in this show, has already got a lot of fun to look for memes in the show. If you can't find anything good from Big Camera, probably Yodobashi Camera is a good alternative for you to shop. And just another friendly reminder again, this shop along with Big Camera has got tax-free discount for tourists like us. So make sure you bring your passport and have it ready when you pay for the goods that you purchase. By simply walking around for these 10 shops, it has already spent me for almost a day by simply shopping around Akiba. So make sure you reserve one entire day for Akiba when coming to Japan. Please don't blame others if you don't have enough time to do your treasure hunt. I know that the shops that I visited this time is only a tip of an ice cap. If I have missed out any good shops that you would recommend as well, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. In conclusion, comparing to years before COVID, the numbers of shops has really been decreased for quite a lot. For example, a lot of shops that are selling aired out figures have already been closed down for some reason after COVID. However, since COVID struck Japan, at least we are still very glad to see a lot of shops are still continuing in selling goods, especially with the very good exchange rate that we can spend our money with great values in Japan. Comparing to pre-COVID period, it is very unfortunate that a lot of goods selling in Japan, it is getting harder for people to buy, especially there are a lot of competition within the internal country itself. So if you aren't actually pre-ordering the goods in Japan, you might actually suffer quite a hard time to hunt a good in a reasonable price. So I hope this video will help you for planning your trip to Japan. In the next video, I will be taking you guys to Gundam Base Tokyo to have a look around and see what else is new over there. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.